Hello, and welcome to another Keyshot 9 animation tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about rendering our final output. Once we finalize our animations within Keyshot, we can now create high quality video output. To render out the animation, we'll hit the render button, and instead of selecting a still image, select animation as the output type. Here the resolution of the animation can be defined by either selecting one preset resolution from the drop down menu items or by manually typing values in. To render out only a portion of the animation, select a specific frame range or use the work area in the timeline. These gray flags designate the work area and can be adjusted as needed. We can also see the number of frames that need to be rendered. This is dictated by the total animation length and the number of frames per second. For example, a 10 second animation at 30 frames per second will create 300 total frames. The frames per second can be adjusted in the timeline settings. When all of the frames have been rendered, Keyshot can automatically encode them into AVI, QuickTime, or Flash video formats. The type of format depends on the intended use and platform. AVIs have better support on Windows machines, while Mac works better with QuickTime videos. If we select the Frame Output option, Keyshot will also leave the individual frames in a folder so that they can be used later. This is a great option, since you can then re-encode them in other formats using third-party video software. Multiple image types are supported and can be accessed with the drop-down menu. We can also define the number of cores that Keyshot uses to process the frames. For the quality settings, it's important to note that every frame has to be individually rendered. Setting the quality very high can greatly impact your render times for a long animation. So it's best to render out a single frame to judge the time needed for acceptable results. For more information on render settings, the Keyshot manual has in-depth information for using the advanced control, maximum time, and maximum sample settings. You can access the manual under the Help menu, navigate to Render, Render Options, then Quality to get a detailed explanation of each. On the Animation Toolbar, we also have the option to enable Motion Blur. This will create more realism by slightly blurring the moving parts in your animation. Now when we press render, our entire animation will be rendered in our chosen video format. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 animation output overview. Let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.